Asia's oldest cup competition is back, back after a hiatus of three years, that being the Durant Cup. The 129th edition of the Durant Cup will be taking place in Bengal, the first time in its history where uh, Kolkata, Kalyani and in all likelihood the third venue will be Howrah and not Siliguri, which will host a total of 16 teams, six from the I-League, six from the ISL. Uh, uh, thanks so much for joining us on a brand new episode of 420 Grams. I'm joined in studio by Vaibhav Raghunandan. And joining us from Manipur is former India captain Renadi Singh. And alongside him is Siddhant Ani, who's generally seen on this side whenever we're talking to Renadi, but has now been in Manipur for the last couple of days. Renadi, before we get talking Durand and all, have you handed Siddhant a contract or not? Has he impressed you with his skills? No, first, I have to see, you know, it's just been a week now, so I have to see two more weeks so how we perform. According to that, we will be offering a contract. So, if I be But, uh, yeah, of course, you're, you know, new players are talking about, and when you talk about new players, these old competitions, the Durand, the Rovers, and so on, that used to take all, uh, you know, that used to take place all over India, they used to hold such an integral part for any player, any club. More so, Renadi, if we focus on this edition, that this is happening before the leagues, right? And the Super Cup, which was scheduled to take place as well before the leagues, is now happening post the leagues. So the importance of this tournament from a club's point of view is all the more you're getting competition time before your leagues begin. Yeah, but then if you see now, the sad thing is for Durant Cup officials, they would want to have the best first team from all the clubs. But then most of the clubs in India hasn't started having a pre-season. Yeah. So, Yes, the the second team they hardly have a like the reserve team they hardly have any matches to play. But with this Durand Cup they will be able to get a chance. But I'm sure the Durand Cup officials are not too happy to see the reserve team, and and there are many but, others. But but right? Renadi, the fact that uh, this is if you're if you are running a club, you are the head coach. You've been given a Durand Cup where you're getting four 90-minute competition games. Now, yeah. and now that the Super Cup is not happening, you will put your best teams out there. Yeah, but yes, look at the, all the teams, like I said, they haven't started pre-season. No? Maybe after two and a half, three weeks, this will be Durand Cup. After three weeks, will, will be the best time to get all the best teams. You know, as, as a coach, of course, yes, I, before the league starts, one week before, I want to have my team to get 90 minutes match. Yeah. But now, before the season starts, I don't want to, to play my, my men team because they are not ready. They are just coming back from the holiday. Mm. So, this is for me, this is a wrong time. Maybe after three weeks, uh, Durand Cup will get the best of Indian Yeah, but Randy Bhai, that was also done keeping in mind that the Super Cup was taking place at that time. Now, of course, the Super Cup has been shifted. has been postponed to after the ISL and I-League. And the reason that has happened is because uh, Igor Stimach has told the AFF that, look, yeah. We need players to be competition ready because post the ISL I League, which is in March, April, is when your World Cup qualifiers are also taking place. So that makes sense in a way that you yeah, know you're keeping I, the boys I, competition ready. I totally agree with Igor Simak, you know, because he needs the Indian team, you know, after the league plays, they, they don't they don't stay in the same form. But with that cup, super cup, players will be still in that competition mode, they will they will be fit enough to be to play, to give their best in the Indian team match. And that's totally all right. Hmm. But the timing of this Durant Cup now, as Super Cup has gone back, it, 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 this is not the right time for me. Yes, for the reserve team, this is the best time, this is the best platform. Hmm. But Durant Cup being the most important tournament in our time, and the officials, like I said, would want to have the best team of India, which they won't be able to. So now we, we have to take it take positive. If we have to take positive, positive out from here, the reserve teams are getting a chance. So, I'm at least happy that the reserve teams will get a platform to play. You know, Siddhant, you and I were having this conversation over the last 3-4 weeks as well, man, that uh, number of games for Indian players has slowly, slowly been on the decline in the last couple of years. Now, I think you're touching about 18-20. But my scene is that even if your league structure remains the same for the next 3 years, and you can think of adding a Rovers Cup, Think of adding a Durant Cup, think of adding a local league, then Apun Sabko Milake, then your games goes up to 35 40, which is great for an Indian player. Yeah, like it used to be, I guess, for these guys back in the day because they were playing all these different competitions. I think uh, for the ISL teams, it will still <coughs> remain a bit of a problem because I, I'm not sure if ISL teams will want to play local leagues. So yeah. that, that will remain a bit of an issue in terms of getting the top players those kind of matches. 
but other than that i think for the isl and it, it's a I'm very very happy to hear that they've shifted uh, the super cup from september 15th to because if if the super cup was happening on in on september 15th then the durand would have absolutely no meaning and it makes complete sense in that case for people to feel deserved not really yaar aap uh, before a tournament aap mujhe keh rahe ho agar do tournament aap mujhe de rahe ho before a league where i'm getting to play a total of 8 90 minute games renedi as a coach isn't that perfect preparation for a big league which is not that big I honestly which is not a 8 9 month league you need some time to prepare also na yaar first when we have a pre season first it's all about taking care of the of the players after coming back you know coach has got their own own ideas about training and after training for 2 to 3 weeks they will be ready to play a 45 minutes match yeah. 60 minutes match or uh, and then 90 minutes so the timing is what i say you know maybe after 3 weeks when the players are all ready to give that 45 minutes after having a good pre season and that's the time and timing for me is the main factor here Hmm. Uh, it's a good thing, like he, like Randy said, it's it's great to see uh, this competition happening because young players will get a chance to get those games. And, yeah, Chennai City is fielding an all and India team, yeah, all Indian eleven, Chennai City. Yeah, so that's the positive side. You know, so we, if we talk about the best eleven, there are three, four, or five foreign players will be playing. So if we see or if we take on a positive note, there are so many young Indian players will be able to will be playing in this Durand Cup, and that's the best thing. Like when we were in TFA. Uh, we 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 played final. We lost in tiebreaker and East, against East Bengal. So you know those days, you know, and that's how we got a chance to sign in in uh, after doing after beating Mohan Bagan, after beating beating Mohammedan, losing against uh, in in the final in tiebreaker. That's how we got a chance. So for same TFA, thing, yeah, yeah TFA. TFA. So it, so <laughs> they're under 15. They they lost badly, you know, and but they're still getting a platform. To 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 play against uh, the good players. Let's say it's good thing, good thing for the young players. Hmm. Okay, now that it's also great for us as fans of Indian football because we get to see sort of the second rung of players, the guys who are coming through the system, get a chance to familiarize ourselves with what's happening with the next lot of guys and who are sort of potential players pushing for first team places. But that's for like people like us who are working. With an understanding of Indian football, that's the actual. That's actually the flip side of this fielding young players thing. That there's a lot of apprehension among. There's a lot of apprehension online about like how teams not fielding their first teams. How does it impact the popularity of this tournament? Do the fans come and watch? Big names are not going to be there. I mean, the Cal clubs if they field second team, like I mean, those are the kind of questions that people are asking. Of course, like I agree that. You see, Calcutta clubs. I think for them it makes no sense to. I don't know how they'll end up. Sort of setting up foreigners will be a key issue because that's where most of the money goes, I guess. So clubs try to delay bringing in foreigners as yeah. much as possible because the later you bring them in, the later you start paying them, obviously. But apart from the foreign players, uh, I think Calcutta clubs now realize that they have very little chance of winning any other competition. So for them, winning a trophy is an important thing. So they will be in it. I think Mohan Bagan East Bengal will be in it to definitely. I think the Calcutta League is also happening at the same time, by the yeah, way. Yeah. If if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So yes, Calcutta also, League is, and and that's a big challenge for for a coach, East Bengal coach, who had just arrived three days back or three or four days back. Hmm. So he will not want if you have just arrived three four days back, he would not want to feel the best eleven. For sure, so he is going yeah. to feel under nineteen. That's what I heard, but Mohan Bagan, I heard they are fielding the the main eleven. Randy, but that is that is still the uh, there's early. still speculation on that because Abhi a report yeah. keh raha hai ki most probably he's going to be fielding <coughs> a strongest eleven, that being East Bengal. Oh. But my my point being this that uh, the fact that Durand has come back to Calcutta, a. मतलब इट वाज नेवर प्लेड इन कैलकटा ए दिस इज रियली स्मार्ट मूव दैट दे आर प्लेइंग इट इन कैलकटा एंड बी आप कोई भी क्लब कंपटीशन रखो एट व्हाटएवर टाइम इफ देयर इज अ आई लीग एंड अ आईएसएल क्लब इन दैट देन दैट इन इटसेल्फ द इंटेंसिटी विल ऐड टू इट एनी डे बिकॉज़ यू ऑलवेज प्रूविंग अ पॉइंट टू द अदर यस इफ वी इफ वी लुक एट द फैंस नो दिस डोरन कप एक्सेप्ट मोहन बगान इज बंगाल नॉट मेनी फैंस इज गोइंग टू कम एंड वॉच यू थिंक सो इट नॉट इवन इन स्टेडियम्स व्हाट अबाउट कल्याणी एंड हावरा एंड ऑल उसमें नहीं आएंगे Yeah, yeah, but but when East Bengal Mohan Bagan play, you will see a lot of fans. But other teams, I don't think they will they will get many fans. But to for the development of Indian football, forget the fans, uh, forget the uh, the fans. But then the develop and for the development of Indian football, you see how many young kids are going to get chance in this competitive level of football. Hmm. 
and probably the coach and all i'm pretty sure the new coach and his uh, support staff will be keeping a close eye yeah. on this competition isn't it sad for the reserve team they, they are there in, if you go anywhere in europe reserve team get a chance to play every weekend hmm. but our reserve team in whole year how many matches do they get a chance to play yeah. but with this tournament and thanks to duran cup coming to calcutta in three venues and they are going to get a chance those reserve teams you know so we have to develop the reserve team as well aap aap kolkata ko bade achhi tarah jante ho calcutta kalyani howrah what sort of crowds can we expect where and where will the big teams be getting their biggest crowds in these uh, Cal- see, howrah is a mohan bagan area yeah so yeah, you are going to see a lot of mohan bagan so their but, matches will be there only i'm pretty sure yeah yeah so So now, when East Bengal boys, I was there for six six years, for twelve years, East Bengal and Mohan Bagan. So wherever you go in Bengal or anywhere, you and see Mohammed if you play in uh, in Siliguri or in Mohammedan, Mohammedan, they they have many fan followers. Mohan Bagan, East Bengal, Mohammedan. You go anywhere, they will bring fans, and and that's the best thing about Calcutta. But I also think when you have a Bengaluru playing and you have a Sunil Chhetri who's come back to Calcutta, mm-hmm. I think that in itself will be a draw that people will want to see this team. Kya hai ye team? Yeah, yeah but not like East Bengal, Mohan Bagan, and Mohammedan though. Hmm. Of course, Sunil Chhetri is yeah, coming. There, there will be many players. There will be many fans who would love to watch. And Bangalore being the best team of India, yeah. they will bring, but not that kind of, uh, of 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 followers for East Bengal, Mohan Bagan, and Mohammedan. You know, that that's a different feeling. Yeah. Right. Uh, just moving on to another part now. A, we've spoken about it happening in Calcutta. Uh, the second point being that uh, tickets are available on Book My Show. Uh, tickets are being priced from uh, rupees twenty to hundred bucks, being the highest, which is great, man. Because now anyone and everyone can think, just get a ticket online and make sure you get into the stadium to watch the guys play, right? Yeah. And it's a fairly easy to book. I've booked a couple. Oh, so you have? Which yeah. which games have you booked for? I've booked for Mohammedan versus uh, e- East Bengal. Oh, that'll be a no, solid. No, Mohammedan game. against Mohun Bagan. Mohammedan. Mohan Bagan. That's the, that's the opening game of yes, the tournament. Yes, I booked that. I booked a twenty buck ticket, so I'll uh, probably be on the pitch. Yeah, and in all probability, this will Watched. be playing out on the day of the match. So basically, Weber will not be here. He would have gone inception mode in to that <laughs> stadium. But that's a smart move, right, Renadi? Uh, Annie, just tell us a bit about how this tournament is organized, man. As far as the army is concerned, and why in these three years did we not see the Durand Cup being taken place? I think so. The traditional base of the tournament, as we know, of course, for us having grown up in Delhi, uh, has been Delhi, and the Ambedkar Stadium was home to this tournament for a long time, and it was the only chance that Delhi got to uh, sort of see these big clubs from all over the country come and play in front of their audiences, and it's how uh, sort of we got a chance to familiarize ourselves or or like first hand in the flesh meet guys like Renadi, Joe Paul, I am. Uh, So much as Shaiza, uh, Bajung Bhutia, all of these guys. Uh, when we first saw them in the flesh, it was in the Durand Cup. But unfortunately, over the years, what happened was that the tournament lost its sort of importance. The prize money didn't go up because it's run by a trust. Uh, it was actually under the charge of the Air Force. Okay. Uh, Weber actually has written a couple of very really good pieces on the history of the tournament and stuff like that, which hopefully we can also put out through the website at some point. Uh, So it was a trust. Essentially, uh, the army also, or, or the armed forces, took a little while to understand that football is a commercial property. You need to create some sort of buzz, create some sort of hype, bring in sponsors, uh, increase the prize money in order to attract the best clubs and bring them into Delhi, give them some nicer places to stay. You know, नहीं तो like आप अगर इस पर दरिया गंज में रहते थे मुझे याद है हाँ दरियागंज में रहते हैं या कोई बैरिक्स में आपको ठहरा रहे हैं यार ये ये सब नहीं नहीं चलता है ना आजकल स्पेशली थोड़ा प्रोफेशनल एनवायरनमेंट हो गया है सो दिन टू के ब्रेक ऑफ कोर्स एंड नाउ द चार्ज इज शिफ्टेड टू द ईस्टर्न कमांड ऑफ ऑफ द इंडियन आर्मी व्हिच इज बेस्ड इन फोर्ट विलियम एंड कैलकटा सो दे आर दे आर सॉर्ट ऑफ रनिंग द शो नाउ एंड इट सीम्स लाइक विद ऑल दीज पार्टनरशिप्स विद बुक माय शो एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट दे सीम टू हैव पुट दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ फाउंडेशन इन Uh, done some of the work. They're creating the hype. I think already we were in Calcutta a few days ago. Already there's some sort of buzz being created about the tournament, mm-hmm. and at least people who are into football know that it's happening in town. I think Siliguri crowd will be a little bit disappointed because we were also driving through Siliguri on the way yeah. to Gangtok, and I remember we were talking to a few people. They were pretty excited that uh, competition football was coming to their city, 
so they'll be disappointed that it, if it moves to Howrah or whatever. But uh, that, that that's just how it is. So uh, yeah, so that that's pretty much it. Yeah, in terms of the organization, and because of this, we'll also see. I guess what happened uh, in the last few years when we did see the tournament happening was that more and more amateur teams started coming into the, into the fray. So you had a few Delhi clubs that would make it into the main draw. Pehle to qualify karna padta tha Delhi teams ko and uh. hardly uh, ever was there a time when I mean maybe only Hindustan or uh, kya. No, heroes, no they, they, they would hardly make the final round. Yeah. They would lo- lose yeah. in the final round hardly of qualifying ever. only. I think there used to be a yeah. second Durand also, right? Like which was basically for teams that never qualified for the main one. So, so that was a qualification small. round. Preliminary. Yeah. Preliminary. 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 Yeah, yeah. So, but because sort of clubs started uh, not participating, all of these teams got into the main draw and as a result again, it, then it, it, kick, it becomes a downward spiral. So they, they're trying to sort of pick <coughs> it up again. And the other interesting thing will be that the armed forces are also starting to take football a little more seriously. So, uh, those quota jobs, quota recruitment that happens for sports people into the armed forces directly, it is now being extended to football also. So, I know like the Navy has a pretty strong team. Uh, the Army will be fielding two teams, I think a red team and a green team. So, you'll see a bunch of these young, raw, talented players who may not be so sort of tactically aware or tactically clued in but they'll be extremely fit and also looking to some of these boys because they get it they if they do get spotted by clubs they do have the opportunity to migrate out of the forces into a professional club environment hmm. so they're also out to prove a point and and uh, so that plus i mean for what it's worth their perform their promotion incentives and all of that so tough competition or by by has played against some of these armed forces teams he can tell us yeah, they are quite tough so renedi uh, sidhan touched upon it when you were playing against these army teams and those army players uh, is that the right way that they're not tactically there but in terms of ji jaan laga denge you know bhaging in they will fight for the next full 90 minutes yeah i i totally agree with that because they may be not technically very sound or tactically strong side but then physically they are always the best one and they always give a tough fight to all the teams in Duran Cup and and honestly when we are in East Bengal and Mohan Bagan we, we want to avoid them because we know that they will run 90 minutes and, and make your life hell mm. and they have always done well so yes army team this is like a World Cup for them so they, they prepare for this for this tournament for months and months have you have you uh, re- can you recall a player from the army who for you could have been an India level player and did not go there because of course you know I don't know, as a team they play, you know, I, I don't remember as a single player, but as a team, you know, they like when you are physically, if you are technically sound, then, then you can single out the player or this is the player. But when you have that physically so good, then the, as a whole team, they run. So as a team, they are good, but then as an individual, of course, some of them, they, they were in Indian camp, they were called for Indian camps mm. for one or two months, but they couldn't make it to the, to the final 18 or, or 23. But as a team, they, they did quite well, but not as a single player. Right, we're also just going to delve into the. Sorry, I remember the one kid called Arjun Tudu, I think, uh, who scored a crack over like a 35 yarder uh, the last time the event was happening. And as a result, got a call up to, like, like you say, he got a call up to the national camp. Uh, of course, the step up is massive. Mm-hmm. And like Randy is saying, they are more based on playing as a cohesive unit and making it problematic for the other teams rather than individual brilliance or talent uh, as such. Uh, and coaching uh, in the armed forces as far as football is concerned, I think has still a long time to go because professional coaches are not really getting into that scene. So the coaches also come out of their own uh, system, their own ecosystem. So th- that's where I guess the gap is. But but they'll eventually, I guess, get there. Hmm. Okay guys, then finally, because this is such an old tournament, there's so much history to it, Weber, uh, you got some facts for us, man, as far as Actually, what I would there. recommend is like everyone who's watching this should definitely go and read uh, Mr. Novi Kapadia's book uh, called From Barefoot to Boots, in which there's a long, big chapter on the Durand Cup and all the teams that I've ever played it. Uh, I, I think we can also like use this as an opportunity to do some memories. Like I remember like the first time, I, I'm not from Delhi, so the first time I saw the Durand Cup live in Ambedkar Stadium was in 2013, which is when Mohammedan had won the title. And it was the first time they won the title since 1940. And when they won it in 1940, they were the first civilian team to, Indian team to win the Durand Cup. 
So mm-hmm. it's a, I mean, it was like a big thing that they'd done it after ages. And also, uh, it's really unique. I think, I don't know how many other cl- cup competitions do this, but if you win the Durand, you get three trophies. You don't get one. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Which is but like, there, there, used to be, there used to be a lot of big clubs, you know, uh, mm-hmm. playing in Durand, also Durand and DCM, IFA, Federation. For us, as a, Rovers. As a yeah. Candidate, yeah, as an academy kid, you know, this tournament, 5-6 tournament was one of the most important tournaments. And then to go to Delhi, perform against these big guns, like, you know, when Chima Okiri was there, all, all, all these big players, or only two foreigners were allowed to play in those days. But when we got into the final in the Duran Club, the Duran Cup against East Bengal, you, you should see that, that those fans, I and mean, that was in 95. 95, 96, 97, when I went from East Bengal and final against Mahindra, I don't remember the year 97, 98, that the fans was, were big and, and the supporters, they used to come. Of course, for Indian team, we always had the best support in Delhi. Mm. But whenever the club sides play now, I don't, we don't get much. But in those days, when, like my work said, you know, when Mohammedans play, you will see full crowd. Mohammedan, Bagan, East Bengal and any team, you know. For us, that was the biggest thing ever. Actually, Chima yeah. Okeri also reminds me that I think he was, uh, he had a super performance in the Durand Cup that basically elevated him into the, and gave him a... No, so, so Sunil's, uh, Sunil's story is also the same. He was playing qualifiers for City Football Club. <laughs> Chima Okeri <laughs> saw him. <laughs> Journey started there, spoken to Mohan Bagan and from there we all know what his trajectory has been like. Right. Yeah, yeah. Annie, you yeah, got a memory bro from uh, watching in the stands because mine was know, the I first know. time I watched was Stephen. Stephen of JCT, Lambe Lambe Tang oh, yeah. wala Stephen. Oh, mm-hmm. kya player tha wo yaar. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that must be 97, 98, 96, 97, 98, I think. Yeah, yeah, Stephen yeah. when he was in JCT, I was in East Bengal, and he was one of the the best player. They used to have a like a square cardboard ticket which lasts really long, and I still have that ticket. I remember where I've got Joe Paul and I am to sign like and koi nahi dekhta tha yaar. Itna serious nahi hota tha na. So kids as kids you could go on to the pitch. Meet the players, yeah. kind of shake hands, even do a couple of push passes, feel really excited about yourself. I remember uh, asking Soso after one final, which uh, he was with Churchill at the time. I think we lost to Mahindra, if I'm not wrong. Uh, and then he chucked me his jersey over that. You know, you know the there's a green sort of metal fence that surrounds a major stadium, keeps the crowd away from the pitch. Uh, yeah, so lots of memories with with football. You know, the, the old tournaments, old teams. Old rivalries being reignited. Uh, these are good things, man. These are things that promote the culture of the sport and help young people connect with what's been happening in Indian football over over now. What, what is this? 130 years almost. So it's. An, I'm really it happy the, to it, have this tournament back. And it's, it's the, the oldest cup competition in Asia. Yeah. And the third oldest. Yeah. yeah. Old. In the world. So anyone who says yeah, that revival, India doesn't have a culture of football. Revival. Yeah. Shidan has talked about revival, no? And uh, it's always good to see that. But now, if, if they want to compete with the best leagues, they have to be way more organized. You guys were talking about what was the facilities when we when we played Durand Cup, where we used to stay and all. Look at all the ISL team and I league team where they are staying now. So to compete with this, and we, we we can't. We are talking about 25 years back, and now the players are, are so comfortable. They just have to worry about about their performance. But in those days. Uh, we we have to take care of everything ourselves. You know? So now the the officials, the the organizers, they have to be way more uh, organized than than w- what it was. All due respect, you know, that was one of the best tournament ever for us. But now they have to compete with the best one. Randy, by uh, since we're talking about uh, Durand memories, my only memory, the first memory from Durand was of course that young young jawan bache hain, Ambedkar Stadium gaye hain, match dekhne ke liye East Bengal khel raha hai, aur mere ko Joe Paul Anchari se pyar ho gaya with the way he was playing. And match ke baad jaake maine I went into the field like Sajan said, there was no barricade or anything, anyone could go there. And I said, Joe, bhai, hi, I play in Delhi. I'm also a young guy looking, you know, to play football and all. Can I have your jersey, please? Because we are European football, we see here that the jerseys are exchanged. So Joe bhai turns around and said, bhai, I have one jersey. This is a dhoni and I have to use it in the next match. Did you get a jersey? One jersey we used to get. If you give Joe Paul a jersey, then you have to wear a jersey. But gone are those days, no, players are getting 10-15 jerseys. No? But see, nowadays, one jersey you have to wear, and next they have to wear it. You know, it's it difficult days, but those were the days. So, after the match, it's a match in the camera. 
<laughs> That's the extra time. Extra time. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool down के लिए socks दो है. So this is a good time, man. And much respect and love to all of you, yeah. yeah that you became football players yeah. despite all of that, you know, with all of those things yeah. happening and none of those diva type behaviors. Ki ab ye mere kapde koi le lo, ab mera koi ye iron kar do. It was you and you yourself responsible for everything. Yeah, but you get to learn a lot also, and you have seen the worst days and you have seen the good days, you know. But no, no complain, you know. That was one of the best days, honestly. Ready saying Sadan Dani thank you so much as we were looking back at the Durand Cup Weber was always a pleasure talking to you as well guys uh, we were reminiscing about the good times that the Durand has given to all of us uh, reminiscing about the good times given to each and every Indian football fan thank you so much for watching goodbye